We are back with more of the Blitz. Now we're getting to see some JPS action. Oh, yeah, those two teams right here trying to finish the regular season strong. Callaway and Forest Hill. Let's get to the highlights. This game taking place at North Jackson Field out over there on Bowling Street. Damian Brown, the Chargers, visiting Jeremy Jones, Patriots. Everyone ready to go for this one. And uh, Delvin Lacey, he's back to pass, but uh, he finds Quay Thompson of the opposing team as he gets the INT. He took it back for a touchdown, but was called back doing a holding, so a big opportunity missed there. Then Darius Rogers for Forest Hill. He picks the ball for the Patriots, so some back-to-back -back turnovers. The Chargers will settle down, though. Check out this run-pass option from Callaway. Rikaz on Cleveland commits to the run, passes it just in time to a wide open Demarcus Brown. That's what Brown can do, to you, do for you. 27-yard touchdown. He's dancing. The Chargers take a 7-6 lead, but it wouldn't last. Lacey for Forest Hill, sides arms it to Samuel Adams, bear me. Adams just runs past everybody for the 48-yard touchdown. And guess what? The Patriots, they come back to defeat Callaway 26-13. And over at South Jacksonfield, Tim Wilson and the Provine Rams visiting Jermaine Bryant and Jim Hill Tigers on their senior night. The Rams with the lead to start second half. And this is how the third quarter started. Zaquan Moss gets the kickoff. Gets a block or two, and he's off to the races on the sideline there. He's gone 76 yards to the crib. The kick return for the touchdown, 30 to nothing as Provine leads. And after a takeaway from the Rams defense, they go back to Moss, and he mosses the defense on the pass from John White. Provine cruises to a 46-8 win. The Rams end their season on a three-game win streak. Now we're talking about the 5A playoffs. Ridgeland had a win and in situation against Canton on Thursday night. Holmes County Central beat Vicksburg last night, so the Titans would be the fourth seed with a win. We start off on the opening kickoff. Ethan Young already making highlights. Young, after a pretty weird catch on the kick return, still finds a seam, and he's looking for a house call. Doesn't get it, though. Young does get caught up, too, but Titans have great field position for the opening drive. And now on the goal line, the handoff to Kamari Payne. This is an easy touchdown for the Titans. The they take the lead the in the first. Ken, now on offense, but a bad snap equals a fumble, and that equals Uzziah Scott coming up with it for the recovery. So Titans have the ball back. Now back on the goal line, James Woody in a quarterback calls zone number. That is as easy as it gets. Right near your living room, pointing right at the camera. Ridgeland, they win. They're in the playoffs, 27 to 6. All right, going back to South Jacksonville. South Jacksonville, it was senior night last night for the Murr Mustangs. They celebrated their upperclassmen, the Mustang hosting the Arrows of Clinton. And uh, Clinton with a big lead, and they, they go to their run game, but Eric Hughes comes in with a huge hit for Murr there, and he celebrates as well. But the Arrows would respond on special teams. The Mustangs punting from deep in their own end zone. You don't see this too often. The punt goes right into the hands of the arrows crazy play uh but clinton was in control all night they were at 28 nothing at halftime that would be the final score the arrows have won four straight games we're through with the games we are headed to the best we saw tonight the high five top five plays of the night coming up next